Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. I'm your host VGM Corn and it's time to challenge the Pokemon League. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. In the last one, we got the 8th badge from Giovanni and ended Team Rocket for good. Oh, that is the Boulder badge, go right ahead. And in this place, you can only proceed if you have the proper badge. You can pass here only if you have the Cascade badge. Oh, that is the Cascade badge. Okay then, please go right ahead. And then you walk up to this guy, and he's like, You can pass here only if you have the Thunder Badge. As you can see, this is kind of going to be the theme. You get stopped by eight guards, one for each badge, and you have to make your way up Route 23 to the Pokemon League. And, yeah, a Rainbow Badge now. So that's four badges down, and despite the fact that this place has awesome, unique music, well, it gets ended by the fact that you have to surf. Which instantly puts... Oh! In the original games, it actually switched to the surf music, which I always thought was really lame, but apparently in the remake, it doesn't do that. So, that actually makes me super happy. I, I forgot it did that. So, yeah, now you know. Also, I think in the original games, these guards were actually the swimmer icons, uh, and you can apparently fight here. And there's a Psyduck, and we're just gonna run away from that. I, I think that uh, in the originals, the guards were actually in the water, and they had the swimmer icon, and it was kind of funny. But here it's more serious, aside from the fact that we're trying to get to the Pokémon League and fighting level 23 Psyducks! So, yeah... yeah. This is also the only place in po well, not the only place, but the place before you beat the game where you can catch Dittos. And Ekans. I mean, you can catch Ekans pretty much anywhere, but you can also catch them here. I wish that had been a ditto, so it would have actually shown off what I meant. And here we go. Volcano Badge, we are seven badges in. So that must mean we're almost to the Pokémon League, right? 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 Wrong, unfortunately. And here, you can only pass if you have the Earth Badge. And of course, we have the Earth Badge. And that ends this part of Route 23, and that means we have the Victory Road Gate. What is Victory Road, you might ask? Well, it's the final dungeon. In every Pokémon game, there is a Victory Road, and in every Pokémon game, you have to pass through it to get to the end of the game. So, that's what we're going to be doing here today, is getting through Victory Road. Now, I did not actually mean to waste a uh, Giga Drain on Geodude. The Pokémon here are still fairly low level, which makes leveling up, if you haven't already, kind of a pain. Also, the unique music does go away for this part, which is kind of sad. And, oh, there's a level 43 Onyx. Let's kick it. Let's kick it good, because that will give me experience. And also hurt Kicktron, but hey, you know. Now, the main thing is, every Pokémon game has a Victory Road. Now, every Victory Road is actually very different from the last, but they are all caves, they all rely heavily on strength puzzles, and they all have... And they're all different. I, I think I've already said that, kind of. As you can see, you can actually fight Pokémon in the 40s here, which is significantly higher than most Pokémon in the game. So, what you want to do with this place is, it actually has a unique puzzle element. And I kind of forgot about this until recently. But you have to move these boulders around, but instead of pushing them onto switches, like we did in Articuno's Lair, well, actually, instead of pushing them onto holes, we have to push them on switches. I messed it up, and I'm terribly sorry for everything I've ever done in life. But, there we go. Switch switched. Now that we've... <laughs> you know, no. I, I was really tempted to go back into a switching switch switcher, but we won't. Now, thankfully, the encounter rate is actually lower here than it is in Seafoam Islands. I wonder if you are good enough for me... But there are also trainers in here, which kind of makes a difference. And they are cool trainers! Not ace trainers, but cool trainers. Look at that cool Persian. It's awesome. She's a winner for having that. It's not like we're going to just kick that cat or anything. Oh, thank you for using Payday. Oh. Oh. So, once again, I feel like pointing out, the trainers in this place have higher level Pokémon than, you know, the the gym leaders of Team Rocket, or the head of Team Rocket, particularly. It's kind of... well, it's a thing. 
Anyway, she's going to send out Ponyta, which I've heard is Ponyta and not Ponyta. And someone yelled at me that, for that the other day, so I'm just going to keep mispronouncing it. So Ponyta, or Ponyta. Yeah, I don't remember which way I was doing it. We're just going to surf until that thing dies, which it killed itself. So that's kind of a nice thing. Rapidash, of course, is the evolution of Ponyta, and we surf it to death. Now, the trainers here are actually significantly higher level, as I mentioned earlier, which means that this is a place where you want to fight every single trainer. Because, well, they have a lot of Pokémon from one, as you can see, and they also will give you the experience you need to be able to fight the Elite Four at all. So, do not skip the trainers in this dungeon. That would be a gigantic mistake. I've already gained two levels from one trainer, which... Boy, we're gonna need them. Now, Hydro Pump is the best water move, um, relatively speaking. It has 120 power and 80 accuracy, but Surf has 95 power and 100 accuracy, and it's already a water-type move that we know. So, we will not learn Hydro Pump as much as I usually would want that... Stop learning Hydro Pump? Yes. Okay. There we go. I lost out. That's right, I was too good for you, baby. I never want to lose to anybody, especially to a younger kid. But I'm a 10-year-old and I'm gonna win the world. Anyways, that's a level 44 goal bat. I have a feeling this is gonna end badly. Oh, nope. Kicktron got away. Reminding me that I will need to be healing my Pokemon throughout this. So that is something I will be doing because I don't really want to escape rope out and then have to redo the entire puzzle again because that's exactly what happens. Now you might notice that there's a little bit of a twist on this next area. You have to press this boulder into one or the other. And I don't remember what's in either one. So there's a rare candy in this one. I think the other one might actually be a TM which would be, well, better. Much better. Anyways, if you want a quick escape, you can push this boulder down and get out very easily. However, it will reset when you come back into the cave, so I can see you're good. Let me see exactly how good. Which is a thing, you can't actually get back through Victory Road from the other side. That's just... that's just how it is. It's really unfortunate, but once you leave this cave from the other side, you can't get back out from the same way. You have to fly out. Or, you know, beat the game. So Raticate goes down, and he's going to use Charizard. Now, in other Pokemon games, they were actually kind of stingy with having other trainers use the starting Pokemon, but not in Red and Blue. They were actually all over the place, as you can kind of see. But on the bright side, Fatty Fatty is strong enough to kill a Fire Dragon. And he's going to send in Charmeleon, which is also going to burn us, which unfortunately means that we are unable to go to sleep. So instead of losing him, I'm going to go ahead and swap out to Flopflop. Flopflop should be able to eat these hits much better and can surf his way to victory. There are a lot of Fire-type trainers here, by the way. And also, you know, Grass. So Ivysaur, which means Flamethrower, is what we need. With that done, he has a War Turtle. So he has all the starters. I feel cheated. Oak only gave me one of those and gave my... gave Kaz one, too, and... He's a jerk. Anyways, I forgot that they use Hyper Potions regularly in here, which means that we're just going to have to re-lower his HP with Giga Drain. I should have used, um, I should have used Toxic first, but I actually thought that Thro Frodo would be able to one-shot that thing. I had a chance. Well, aside from the fact that you use all starter Pokemon, <laughs> I can see you are better than I. Thank you. I am God. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and heal Pokemon again. This is going to be a thing. As you can see, this is a trainer... This place is much harder than the rest of the game. And the Elite Four will actually kind of continue that, because they're very high level. I'm just going to go ahead and say that now. They are extremely high level. It's going to be very interesting trying to beat them. Now, as you can see, if I push that rock up, I actually won't be able to do anything with it, aside from, you know, have it get in my way. Also, there are Primapes here, which are also level 40 and above, which is kind of terrifying. And you, as you can see, we have another Switch to switch, and a Zubat to run away from. 
Now, the biggest thing with this place is always that you need to look ahead and make sure you don't push the boulder into the wrong alcove. Example, we have to push it down here because if we pushed it into the top one, we would lose that boulder forever. And everything would be sad and bad. And I'm gonna kick that primate for experience. I meant to use high jump kick. And there we go. The experience you gain from wild Pokémon here may actually be worth it. This here is Victory Road. It's the final test for trainers. It's also the place where you'll fight the highest level trainers, and, well, that's kind of what he just said, isn't it? Herp. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and kick that thing to death, and probably swap out because Kicktron is not the most efficient at taking out fighting types. In fact, he's pretty bad at it because he has very low defense. Bahamut, however, can fly and kill them all day long, which is, you know, kind of fantastic. And with that done, we are another trainer deeper into the caves. Achoo! Now, we actually are getting very close to the end of this Let's Play. If you get stuck, try moving some boulders around. You know, that would be great advice at the beginning of this dungeon. You know, when it mattered. When I, I couldn't figure out what I was going to do. Why? <sighs> the game is very... Very trying with my patience sometimes, and where it puts its hint trainers. Anyways, as you can see, there's a switch here and also an item. So let's pick up the item which contains Sandstorm. Sandstorm summons a Sandstorm for five turns, which does damage to all Pokemon that aren't Rock, Ground, and Steel type, and also gives certain Pokemon advantages. Now, as you can see, Kicktron just fainted to a wild onyx. Kicktron, I have made a terrible mistake by including you in my team, haven't I? Let's get out the revive. Let's just do that. As you can see, well, I, <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying that apparently. This place is much harder than the rest of the game. Oh, we should fight that guy. And as such, we will need to make use of all of the various avenues we can to gain levels and get out of here safely. Unfortunately, wild Pokémon give beans for experience. Ah, so you wish to challenge the Elite Four. Yes, I do. Wait, what kind of trainer are you? You had yellow hair. You had yellow hair! That's that's green hair! What, what have you done with your yellow hair? Anyways, drowsy means that... Um... Fatties. Fatties will fight that. And we'll go ahead and body slam him, and Psychic does no damage coming from a drowsy, unfortunately. Poor thing. Kicktron is trying to unlearn Endure, it will not learn Endure under my tutelage. Endure is a move that lets you survive a hit with 1 HP. It can be very useful in certain strategies, like where if you have, say, a speed up berry, so then they can, you know, go to town. And that's pretty much it. I, or, it's not. It's great for also, like, two turn attacks, and good god, I am just feigning left and right. This is the worst thing ever. I hate everyone. I am going to summon an Earthquake. Now, as you can see, Flufflum probably does more damage with Earthquake than he does with his Surf. Because, well, that's just how Flufflump rolls. Like a baller. <laughs> you got me. And Earthquake will be an essential part of our strategies. Kaz also came through here. How do you know who Kaz is? How do you know I know who Kaz is? Is Kaz a special person? Do we actually have some amount of fame? Pokemon games are always very, kind of... They don't really tell you much about your own trainer and your building fame, but they do kind of assume that you assume that you're getting famous. So, yeah. Hello. You're a trainer. Come on, I'll whip you- Wait, what? I don't want this? Please no? I I'm gonna send out my dragon to stop you. Thankfully, he sends out a cat, which he probably whips daily, which makes me sad, and we kick that cat in the face by jumping at it and then kicking it. What is wrong with these games? These things don't seem so bad until I start talking about them. Anyways, we'll go ahead and finish this off with a body slam, and we've defeated the trainer. I got whipped. I, I didn't do anything, police. I didn't do it. You earned the right to be on Victory Road. Well... Thanks, kid, I guess. Um, oh, do I have to do that to get that switch? I don't think I do, but I don't remember. Okay, we're going to go ahead and head up this ladder because I'm 90% sure, 80% sure, 30% sure this is not where we're supposed to go. But we're just going to kind of look around for a second. And if it 
Okay, apparently we're going to get uh, into a battle on the same spot. And now we're going to look around. I think this is actually the way I'm supposed to go, so we're going to go back down here. Okay, now that that's done. Yeah, this place is weird. Yeah, it is where I'm supposed to go. Is Victory Road too tough? No, I totally haven't burned a lot of my supplies getting through here up to this point. Oh god, please kill me now. Anyways, Mr. Mime means we'll send out a Fatty Fatty. And Fatty Fatty... Fatty Fatty is going to body slam. Aw, oh, yeah, Fatty Fatty. Go for it, Fatty Fatty. He got an encore of body slamming, which... I would not encore a giant fat cat body slamming me, but you know, maybe that's just me. Anyways, Fatty Fatty hits 40. Well done. Thank you, I guess. I mean, you're nice. Most trainers give up their challenge here and go home. I mean, that just seems really stupid. Hail summons hail, which damages all Pokemon that aren't ice type every turn and influences certain things. Anyways, they give up on Victory Road? I heard rumors of a child prodigy. Oh, hey, we are acknowledged. You would get eight badges, come that close to winning your child dream, and then be like, meh, this place is a little too tough for me. Who does that? Who does that? We're going to send out Bahama. Oh, no. Actually, I've been waiting to show this off for, like, ten episodes now. Where is it? Key items. Key items. Poke flute. Use. And if you do this, it plays the Poke flute tune, which is the downside to using this item is that it takes forever. And then your Pokemon wakes up. And actually, your, the enemy Pokemon would also wake up if you somehow managed to have both people asleep at the same time. Which would be... Difficult? Yeah, we're gonna go with difficult. I didn't... I didn't actually mean to use fly, which is what got us... Oh my god. <sighs> Do I have a full restore? I'm gonna use a full restore. It's totally not worth it to use a full restore here, but I'm going to because I don't feel like swapping. And Egg Bomb... As you can see, Executor is really annoying. And it's, it, you know, a play on Executor, so maybe I should pay attention to it, except it's also terrifying. I mean, did you see that thing's face? Anyways, Electrode... We are actually going to do the opposite thing of Smart and send out Flop Flump. Now you'd be wondering, what are you doing? Well, Flop Flump has this little thing called Earthquake, and aside from the fact that we got hit first, this was a great plan. But we got hit first, which means that, good god, he took some damage. That... That is some painful, painful damage right there. Anyways, he's going to use Sand Slash, which means we will stay on Flop Flump despite his low HP. And Cloyster... Cloyster is a Water, Ice, Pokemon... Fighting types. I think Fighting types are effective against Ice type Pokemon, or at least I always want them to be in my brain. Unfortunately, Kicktron just flew into another bloody wall. <sighs> Spikes damages your any Pokemon that switch in after it's put, put down. Which means that if he can faint me, which he can't... I would take extra damage when I swap to the next Pokemon, because he's a jerk. Anyways, our canine means that we have one less job for Flop. Flump's gonna die if I swip him in. Swap him in. Swip. Swap. Uh, okay, so... Oh god, Intimidate. <sighs> okay, what can I do here? Okay, I think what I'm going to do is just play the long game. I'm going to rest, go to sleep, snore, snore, and then I'm going to wake up, I'm going to go to sleep, I'm going to snore, I'm going to snore, oh my god, we're playing the really long game, apparently. Snore, snore, <laughs> body slam, okay, okay, it's over, good god, okay. The rumors were true, good god, this place is difficult. So it was you who beat Giovanni of Team Rocket. Oh, I guess people do know that I just destroyed Team Rocket and crushed their hopes and dreams. Yay! Anyways, there's an Onyx over here, so let's kick it and hopefully... <sighs> Can you not even kill an Onyx from one hit? Kicktron! Kicktron, you are the worst fighting robot ever designed by anyone! I don't take it back. You're the worst around. Everyone should keep you down. Because you suck! Anyways, it's a goal battle. Let's run on. <sighs> mean look is a move that lets you uh, makes you unable to escape. Now we might actually have a Pokeball because Tiktron is going to lose this fight really hard. 
So the best thing to do with this case is to use a polka doll. However, we don't have one. Polka dolls would let you escape. So instead, we're just going to have to try and kill it, which we didn't succeed on doing. I'm going to burn you to death. This place is getting more difficult. Anyways, I'll actually keep my Kigtron dead for now because he's worthless and he should feel bad. Overheat is a fire type move that does tons of damage but then lowers your special attack afterwards. It's a very risky move, but if you manage to take out a Pokemon with it and swap out, then you don't really lose anything. As you can see here, this is where you're supposed to go, and I think you're supposed to take that boulder right there all the way over to that other switch, which is kind of absurd. So we'll do that in a minute after we finish exploring the other area, because that seems like what I want to do right now instead of this. Hopefully I'm not making a terrible, terrible mistake, but you know, I probably am, because it's been years since I was last in this place, and I don't remember the layout that well. So we're going to go ahead and use this big boulder and strength it up, and push, 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 oh, damn it. That was going to be much funnier, it was going to be push, 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 and yeah, it, it is still pretty funny to watch. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm done. I really am done this time. Anyways, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and push this switch on the switch, which should switch something deeper on this floor and not another floor. And that is how we are going to keep exploring this place. Yep, I just saw that uh, rock barricade go away. We're gonna run away for some more Pokemon, and then we're gonna go fight that trainer because nothing could go wrong. I totally can't lose. This is gonna be the best fight ever. Trainers love to seek stronger opponents. Yeah! I'm gonna be stronger than you, totally. You have five Pokemon. Oh, she has Clefairy, so maybe this will be easy. Too bad I can't kick her Clefairies. I would love to kick her into Clefairies. It'd be way more effective than what I'm doing right now. Anyways, uh, it did half the damage of special type attack, so I'm going to go ahead and accidentally use Body Slam, but thankfully it instantly killed it. Now, Persian might be difficult, so we're gonna go to sleep. And then we're going to snore, snore, and then we're going to sleep, and then we're going to snore some more. Now, Payday is actually increasing the money we get out of winning this fight, so since she used it a bunch of time, be sure and check that out at the end of the fight. I'll, I'll slow down the video once we get there. Dugong, Water Ice type. Let's poison it. Let's poison it. It tried to use Sheer Cold, which is an instant kill. Aurora Beam is super effective, but Giga Drain is also super effective, and we'll just let... Uh-oh. And it full restore, so... Oh my god, I hate you. Why? I, I even made the same mistake earlier in this episode. I am the worst at playing Pokemon. Chansey is a Pokemon with an obscenely high special stat, or special defense stat. It's kind of insane. So we're going to go ahead and snore because it has an obscenely low defense stat. And with that taken care of, Fatty Fatty grows to level 20, 41, thank god it's not in the 20s, and is trying to learn what? Block? What is block? Um, the user blocks the foe's way with arms spread wide to prevent escape. That is not at all what I thought that would do. Anyways, no, we're not going to take it. Also, you might notice that rest is a psychic type ability. I don't know what's with, what's with that. Oh, so strong. I am so strong. I'm strong, and by fighting tough battles, you get stronger. Well, thanks for explaining the experience system like 30 hours into the game. I really appreciate that. Are there just trainers here? No, there there's a rock. There's a rock, and I think this place is a giant circle, actually. So let's go ahead and revive Kicktron, because we are, aren't done with him yet, and we don't want him to fall too far behind, even though I hate him with all of my hate. And we'll heal up Flopflump, and Char's up Bahamut, and I guess we can heal up Fatty Fatty too. Alright, that's enough wasting supplies. I'm sure you just how good I am, or something. I mean, she said something along those lines. She has a bell sprout, which means that we need to burn it to death. Burning things is fun. I love setting things on fire. Weeping Bell, it can also be set on fire, which is what you want to do. Victory Bell also can be set on fire, which just keep keep burning things. Burn till your heart is content. And Parasect can also be set on fire. 
I am having the most fun in this battle ever. Oh, five fire type fi one shots. That was sexy. I'm furious. I'm turned on. Anyways, you showed me just how good I was. And you? Only the Chosen can pass here. I actually think this might be the right way, which means the other way is the wrong way, which means I'm lost. He has Kingler. We're gonna kick it. Maybe. Oh, he's gonna mud shot. Oh. Well, that lasted long. Good job. You're the best. Not. Anyways, he has Hyper Cover, which prevents his attack from being lowered, and we're just gonna drag... Oh my god, I hate you with all of my hate! All of it. Every last hate that I have is destined for you. Poliwhirl is a water-type Pokemon, so let's set it on fire, I guess. Or get put to sleep, you know. Okay, let's let's play the Poke Flute in Fast Forward. There we go. That was a sexy noise. That was great. Anyways, he's going to send out Tentacruel, which is also a water poison type. Which means that, you know, Earthquake does super effective damage, except they use Reflect, so it does less. Now, Flufflump is actually really good at killing his own kind, which, on hindsight, is a very disturbed thing to say. Don't you, don't you dragon smoke me thing, I hate you. And Blastoise is, la is his last Pokémon, and we're gonna have to swap out because Flufflump is running out of move points. So, so is... So is Fatty Fatty, unfortunately. But we may actually have easily won this right here. Yeah. Okay. I don't believe it. And we win. Another trainer down. All trainers here are headed to the Pokemon League. Don't let your guard down. And you get over here, which takes you to a place where you have to shove a rock in a hole. Which I think is actually something you have to do. Maybe? I don't remember anymore. And you can push this, which... I'm gonna leave that there now. Yeah, that is where that lives now. I'm assuming that rock that we pushed into the hole will actually be where we can go push up that rock on the switch, and that we don't have to push this rock down here all the way through. That is my assumption. If you can get through here, you can meet the Elite in four. Well, that's the plan, at least. Charmeleon, which means that Bahamut will actually stay in here because, well, it missed a bunch of times, which is great. And Lapras. Now, I guess I'll keep, I'll keep Charizard in because fire types are actually very good against ice types. Unfortunately, since most ice types are water types, well, it doesn't work. It doesn't work as intended at all. In fact, until the second generation, there pretty much aren't any water uh, ice types that aren't also water types. Lickitung would be a great Pokemon to send out Kicktron against. Unfortunately, Kicktron sucks and died. Again. So, he doesn't get forgiveness. He never gives forgiveness. Anyways. Anyways. With that done... No! Unbelievable! You know, I think we're actually, despite this being... Uh, no. If you want to see how to get through it... See, I think this is the very end of the victory road, but I can't quite remember, and I don't want to be here for another 10 minutes. So instead, I have a plan. I have a great plan, which is totally not going to be annoying at all. Oh, here's the rock. Oh, we have to push this rock back onto the switch, so switches do reset just by going to a different floor. That's kind of absurd. And is also why you can't get back through here at this place, if even if you try. It doesn't work. Or does it? You know, I can't remember if you can actually get... You know, I don't know. Anyways, if you want to see how to get through the rest of Victory Road, and how to push this switch, which has this boulder nearby, then you're going to have to join me in the next one. So, I hope... I'm going to run away from that. Actually, you know what? We're going to get to the ladder. We're going to get to the ladder, and then we will... Then we will fast forward, and, um... <laughs> then we'll end the episode. So, push, 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 push. Run away. Yep, we're getting close to the end of the Let's Play. I don't have a whole lot left to say about Pokemon. <laughs> oh, with that uh, push pushed... We have now opened the way to the ladder to the next part of Victory Road, which is a long dungeon, which we're going to run away from this onyx, 
and then stand next to this ladder and say, if you want to see how to get through here and what's on the other side, then you'll have to join me in the next one when we get ready to fight the Elite Four. I hope to see you then.